So Aurora wasn't feeling the greatest today and she fell asleep on my lap and it's literally the cutest thing ever. And I feel like with me being home a lot, we've created a stronger bond. Cause like when we're playing and I go to like go to my room cause I think she's done. She comes crying and she pulls me back over and wants me to sit and it's just the cutest. And I'm grateful that I've been able to grow stronger with her. She's just out. You don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect darling just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart. Open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 love. Good morning, Keep It Crazy family. Actually, it's good afternoon. We're just, I think it's afternoon. Our power went out the other day and I haven't reset the clock on the microwave yet. So anyways, we've been having a little cold go around our house, but Crystal has got it and she is just not feeling good. She's laying in bed and it's lunchtime and she's hungry. She's growing a human. So I am gonna be the sweet husband that I am and I'm gonna make her some grilled cheese and some tomato soup to make her feel better because that's her favorite meal when she's not feeling well. So let's get started. So normally I use mayonnaise on bread when I'm making grilled cheese because it gives you a better crust and yeah, the store didn't have any mayo so at least the, the, when I was there I didn't get it. I actually think I got Miracle Whip instead. I've tried it last time and it burns really a lot more than mayo does so I'm gonna stick with butter this time. It does work. All right, so right now this is Crystal's favorite soup. So I've already peeled off the little inside and let's get started in the microwave. Oh, Here you go, Crystal. Thank you. How are you feeling? Mm. Is there anything else I can get you? I will be right back with it. Thank you. Wow. This is so good. Thank you. Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. It's like perfectly cooked. Aww. You're the best. I love you. I'm gonna go make mine and then I'll come back and we'll have a little picnic. Aww, I love that. Okay. You gonna come eat with me? I am gonna come eat with you. I have my food. So I don't know if Aaron said, I just have a cold. It's not like anything major, but when you're pregnant, you can't really take a lot of different medicine or anything, or I don't like taking any medicine, I guess, so I kind of just like suffer through it. But that's, I'll be okay <laughs> in the next day or two, I'm sure it'll pass. Several of our kids have already had this in the house, um, and that's one of the hard things about being in a big family, is if one person gets sick, it typically runs the gambit through everybody. And it's, it's like, it's not like it, one kid gets sick and they all get sick at the same time and we all get over it. It's like one kid gets sick, then two or three days later somebody else gets sick, and then two or three days. So it takes us like a month or two to go through like one common cold. So it's That is why we are miserable. really worried about the virus. We are social distancing as much as we possibly can. We've been in the house. We're literally quarantined since like we got back from California. ourselves. Yeah, because we do not want to get this. We only go out for groceries and that's literally groceries. it. Yeah. And we've been to the school twice just to try to get the kids set up at home for school, but. So right now Aurora also has the same cold I do and then also Brody does too. So all three of us are not feeling good today, but Usually when Aurora gets something, I get it, or when I get something, Aurora gets it, because we're always so close to each other, and like, I don't know, interact so much, but. Surprised I haven't gotten but it But she yet. has a lot but more I'll energy than I have. <laughs> don't say that! I don't want you to get sick, you're the cook of the house. I know, right? <laughs> well, we're gonna enjoy our lunch, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna talk to you guys about two things that we want to talk to you about, so stay what tuned. two things? <laughs> looks so bad. Uh, okay. You are beautiful. I don't feel beautiful today. Uh, my <laughs> voice. Okay. <laughs> so what are the two things we were going to talk about? All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is just the struggle, another struggle of having a large family. With everything that's been going on, 
I think there's a lot of people that are getting upset with other people that are buying a lot of stuff at the grocery store. And the hard part about oh yeah having so such we went a large to the grocery family store. well it was like a couple of weeks ago we went to the grocery store and like we were getting bread and like normally we go through a lot of bread because we we're such a big family and there was a guy kind of watching us and i was like is he gonna think like we're out at home hoarding all this food? Cause people think you hoard food when you have these all these grocery carts, but like they don't realize that that's how much we need for our family. So the guy was actually really sweet. He came over to me and he's like, are you buying like for other people? Are you buying for like a church group? Can I help out in any way? Like he actually offered his help instead really of nice. judging. Yeah. And I was like, that was so nice. I told him, no, this is just how much we need for our family. And so, but we got a lot of looks at the store. Yeah. Um, if you stop and think about it, so the average family in America, I think, is four people or four and a half people. I don't know how that works. But in any case, we have 11 people <clears throat> living in our household, right? 11? Yeah. <laughs> I have to count it all the time. But so we have 11 people living in our household. So that's literally three times the average family in size. And so if your average family goes to the store and fills one shopping cart full of groceries, theoretically we have to go and fill three grocery carts. And we do, like we you do. guys have seen and our it's... grocery hauls, like we do two to three carts every time we go grocery shopping and that lasts us a week or two. And for us so to even buy like a little we're... bit extra on top of that, we get even worse looks. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really difficult. So it's when you're at the store and you see somebody buying a lot of stuff, you know, if you can help out, help out. But definitely, let's try don't not to judge, judge each them, other. Because we don't know, time. and we don't know if they're helping other people out, if they're delivering. You know what I mean? To That's the true. elderly or whoever, and you just don't know. So I talked judge. to a friend up in Washington the other day, and he said currently in Washington, or maybe just in where he lives, everybody's having their groceries delivered. That's nice. Yeah. So there's a group of. I wish we uh, had I, I don't that. remember what the name of the group was, but basically it's a group of people. There's like three or four of them in a car. They go, they buy groceries for somebody, and then they deliver it. That's and I guess cool. that's how everybody's getting their groceries because the state is so locked down. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, I'm going to insert a picture now. So what do you guys think that is? Well, obviously it's pop tart wrap. It's a lot of pop tart wrap. <laughs> a lot of wrappers. We found it under one of our kids' beds. So, you know what's really difficult is, and it's been the common thread in any foster kit that we've ever gotten, is food and food issues. Um, whether they choose to hoard food or they overeat or they constantly the worry trash. about it. Yeah, we've had some crazy like experiences when it comes to food and the lack of food, what that does to people, and, and especially kids. So we have worked so hard over the last few years, um, even some of our kids have gone to therapy for it, as far as not having food issues or working through those food issues so they don't have that fear and that anxiety around it. Well, Brody was one of ours that when he first came, he used to try to eat out of the trash. And he used to try, even if we had a ton of food, like even on the counter there's fruit and the kids can eat fruit and vegetables anytime they want. And no matter how much we fed him, he still hoarded food. And we got to a point where he's been really good about it though. Like he hasn't hoarded, like he does really good. But I really think seeing some videos with empty shelves, hearing us talk about it, he is starting to have that anxiety and that fear come back. And that was not my intention with that. And I feel really bad and I'm like going to cry, but I'm just sick and hormonal. So <laughs> We have yeah, a just, lot of food. We have plenty of food. We have plenty of food. And it's sad that he doesn't understand. But I think it's like a subconscious thing that he like has to hoard and has to like start hiding food because there's not going to be enough, but there's enough. It's just sad. Here's the funny thing, or here's the okay, interesting. I, <laughs> oh, I think the interesting thing to me is how young Brody was when he came to us. Brody was a year and like three or four months when he first came to us, and he had already been in foster care for probably a good six months. 
and now he still has food troubles. So it goes to show that in that first year. Yeah, it was his first year of life. His can, first few months that he wasn't given the proper food and what he needed. So we are gonna be handling the whole situation off of camera. Um, there's things that Brody needs to work through and several of our kids when it comes to food and just that security. So we will share some of that with you in the future, but as of right now, like when we're in the moment with it and the kids really need our full attention when it comes to that. So we will not be filming that part of it. <laughs> She's talking. Trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs>